No. Racism does not exist. It really does not. Racism does not exist at all. It does not exist today. I love white people. And you should too. We should really love white people. We should love what they're doing. You should love what they're going through and what they're doing. They are trying to help the black community. They're trying to help them out really good. They're trying to bring them to the next level. But white people are not seeing that. Yeah, we're going to see my black crime. There's 80% of black and black crime in the inner cities. And it's tired of destroying them. If black people are killing each other, they're raping each other, they're whoring each other out. We are stealing some things. We are going around doing this. They're not going to school. They don't want to be in society. They don't contribute to society at all. They don't go to trouble and they don't want to be in the running. They want to be in their own inclusion. They want to call yourself a person that look, you know. And I can't find time that for them. They take responsibility. They never talk about taking responsibility and doing that. And the black leaders are not doing it at all. Black leaders are talking about racism. They're talking about why don't white racism out there. And tomorrow, there's unarmed black men who are getting killed by the cops. And I'll tell you right now, it's not exist at all. There's no sure thing of them being killed by the cops. They'll kill because they'll be a criminal. They'll kill because they had done something. They'll kill for us because they resisted. They'll kill because they fought back. And that's why they kill. No need to be talking about racism at all. Racism does not exist. There's no thing that I ain't talking about race. You should not be talking about race like that. You should not be putting it in front of them people. I also know that they're doing that. A lot of victims are doing that. They're going to victimhood. And they got circles in their feet. And there will be nothing but victims being victims around here. To blame the white man. We don't blame them at all. Anyway. What he wanted to talk about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is good. Donald Trump is bring America back, bring around where it needs to be. He can bring around to do this. McCain and James Comey are in trouble. They are all we're talking about are coming down. Government and society is going to be ready to indict them. They have already found the charges and bring them out. They have already went to Congress and they talked about how. Jamie McCain has kind of testified. He's going to go out there and testify. They're putting pressure right now because the state doesn't know what to do. They're not raising no money for that. So Donald Trump is doing it. I'll, Donald, I support Donald Trump for letting the cats out the bag and doing this. Donald Trump is going against him. He's saying that none of this should not be going on. He's going to get ready to bring the evidence on him and then they'll be prosecuted. Now he has all the enemies looking at him right now. Donald Trump has all the enemies doing right now. He was going against that, which is a great thing. It's really fantastic that he's doing it. It's amazing to see Donald Trump coming back and fighting against them. It's really worth the war against these guys and come back and fighting hard on them. And as long as you see this stuff, it can also be true about what he's doing. Donald Trump is a favorite person to be around right now. It's really good that he's making sure that being a good person was sent to jail when all these trials are help right now. It happened in the right now. And you see this through all, all the levels of life. And you wonder just say, wow, how can we be doing this right now? Donald Trump is a man to be. You know, he sees there are things that when he speaks out there to people, he doesn't know what's going on. Let's people figure out for themselves how they figure out what to do and what they can do with that. He's also split sparking light because he knows what's trying and he knows that bringing the war is going on. And as you're winning the war, this is what you are doing. You are bringing this to a close. We are bringing this to the next level. John just said that he wants to prosecute these people. He needs to put them out there, we'll put them in jail. He needs to go around exposing people for where they are. We can already tell that this is never going anywhere with them. When you know James Comey is a liar, is nothing but them. Miller is a devil. Is it being put in the ground? Donald Trump is exposing the Illuminati. It's most of what they're doing. I support Donald Trump and this person to the world war. The world war is going out there to destroy things and to go out there and kill people and make sure they never come back. And that's why he's bringing this stuff out. And that's how they're doing it. He has a fighting blow by blow. And it's doing that with the strip of his mind and strengthening his word. This is all how people figure out what's going on, you know. And the joint general 21 was to come here to destroy things. And they're going to depopulate people and bring them down. 
people have been always been doing this by bringing out of concentration camps. We always talk about concentration camps because we're going to put them in there. Bill Gates was coming out saying that we all out there and kill people. George Soros can't claim that these certain things are going to happen that, or as soon as they fight back, there's certain people do some things. We're all going to fill small apartments. We're all going to drain them of the resources. We're also going to say natural resources. It's been caught many times on the end of certain black objects to go and depopulate people. It's been in many conferences. He said before that he has worked with the Johnsons. He has worked with them to go on and destroy things. He's collaborated with many great enemies and many great enemies out there. When I want to succeed, so the New World Order has been planning that. They've been planning it all this long. We know that the Illuminati has been working to make sacrifices on behalf of the people. They've been making sacrifices and going behind people's back. It's what this shows, and that's what's going on. You know, you can actually see how this is already affecting you right now. So, we're fighting back. We are fighting against the Illuminati, and we're winning right now. We always have to do this. We always do have to stay strong. Don't try to show that time and time again. You can go and get rid of them, and you can go and destroy the people, and make sure that they never come back. And you're all seeing this through right now. When you're seeing this through the eyes of people who know this, you know, when you go to the next level, when they know how they're going to be moving forward, how they're going to be doing this. But anyway, we can't go and destroy each other. We got to go and we got to help each other fight this, and we have to fight this to it down. Um, so we have to support Trump. We have to support him. Well, I love him. We're well, going to bring him down because, you know, he's always been going against this crime. I'm going to be fighting him. I'm going to fight him against the uh, illegal immigrants in this country. Saying illegal immigrants cannot come here and become citizens in this country. You're not going to do anything. We're not going to contribute here. You need to go back. We're not going back here because you know that. We're going to come here again the ancient visas illegally. They mean it illegally. You know, they're going to bring the crime here. We're bringing a lot of prostitution. Little again was just from Mexico, and he's little again immigrants from other countries. We're bringing going and drug trafficking and prostitution in here, and they've been doing it over years. They've been doing it over a few years right now. Let's see the work they're doing, and I'm making it work. And it's also been destroying the country. It's been messing up our resources. It basically messed up our economy. And Donald Trump has been stopping that. He has put. He's actually put the bill in there. To stop the border and to block the borders. He has done that consistently. He has also written a daily executive bill showing that time again. He's been proving himself, proving himself right. You know, when we go in here, we come in there to stop the man. You know, always have to me one cold blood harder at a time. You can push him back, push him, and you push back. And that's how we're doing it. That's how conservatives and libertarians do it. Conservatives and libertarians. Or fight back on our green, fight back for somebody who would push you against it and see slim of the immigrants. You know, why should we have the elite who bring us up for certain things with the populace? Trump there and tell us that America, you are not better. America, right now, the conservative Christians, you are not better at all. You are scum of the earth. You are slum bags. Well, yeah, that's right. We're going to bring this other people in. We're going to bring these illegal immigrants in. Here. Yeah, yeah, let's bring illegal immigrants in. Yeah, so we can go in there and slave right now. Do that. You know, legal members have no but shackles in their feet. They do not want to stay in their own country. And so Donald Trump is just saying, Donald Trump is staying, staying in our own country, I'm staying in our land. Why are we going to come on over here? You know, I've been like to show you and show you right now that I think it is possible when you go back and contribute to your own country. You're not contributing to your own economy right now because you're a citizen over there, a citizen over somewhere else. You know, I'm a real citizen over here. When you come over here, you have to apply. When we come over here, you have to follow every single rule, you have to apply every single rule, and you have to be a citizen to come over here. If Donald Trump is just saying, like, hey, man, we're going to stop this right now. we put this in the trash, we're going to put a place in it, we're going to put it in the place, because I have a word, we just stop this. He's been doing things to show time and time like giving you. You have to be included over here if you're not a citizen. You know, you cannot work with us. You have to work with us and do certain things. You know, we're doing that. And that's what you've been showing. And Donald Trump is not believing God. And it's been calling him God. And it's not about Donald Trump. We were doing all his work by himself. But it's God that will to one. God is sure he will watch him for, for certain things. He's been bringing all the light to people and bringing it to Jesus Christ. You know, I believe that God is bringing time to him again. He's always come through this journey and bring us together.
on your own to this level. And that's what Donald Trump is showing that. And that great example. It the only things we're doing in life. This takes time, it takes time to move those things out of the way. Donald Trump needs to know that going down here and down what they're doing. Look at all these things we're doing right now. You know, every single thing they're doing, they do not like. I mean, they do not like this man and you're joking around. They're still part of him because they know things won't do what they certain things. The mission is you want to try and destroy him. You know, put them through the ground. We have seen all kinds of things where you know that they want the EU right now and not speak to him. In the EU, they don't want to speak to him. You know, they recognize that he's been complaining through here. It's when you give a speech, you don't always call certain things out. You know, I don't like the way they're doing things and I don't like that. When they let, you know, me and Alice Jones and Will Johnson, you know, we all bring together to go and do this, you know. And I said, we see one show that, you know, John and Tom, you know, he makes you know, at the ego. We saw all the enemies right there. A lot of the enemies are standing right there. All the guys watching. You know, all the enemies in this book right now. And a lot of people from Germany, from Russia, and all different countries coming out there. And so, what a bad time this is right now, or what they're doing right now. So it's a beautiful time to go out and destroy the Illuminati. It's a beautiful time to go out and bring them down and bring the results back up to another level. Because you never know what's going to happen. You know, we are at the end times and we see some of things. You know, we wonder, you know, what's going on? You know, you'll have to figure out how you balance this out. I mean, we'll bring this up right now to the next level. You know, you can see all kinds of things with this. And you could kind of joke around and see this, but no, this is a great time right here, you know, to be serious and to show them how you can move down here and what you would do. You know, you know we're, we're just breaking the devil, we're breaking the Illuminati here right now and coming down and showing this. Alex Jones should be showing it. Alex Jones should show how you can go on the next level. I mean, how you can pass with behind this. It says if you bring a troll into the picture, you bring a tenfold, you're going to destroy certain things. He's been bringing a lot of people on, so nobody can stop us right now. So it's bringing all this trouble versus just bringing people out there right now, showing them how crazy they are right now. You know, what they were doing. Conservatives out there, us and conservatives, and Donald Trump, we're going out there and stuff like Bill Clinton right now. Uh, Bill Clinton has been called in this conference right now. He went on the show, he went on the other conference one week. He went inside there, he went inside the building, he sit down and talk, and there's been plenty of whistleblowers that have been going against them. They've been playing that when they go out there and we're talking out there in the Congress right now. They've been talking about his book and talking about certain things about how he's been coming back. Brian has been talking about his life story. It's Brian before him and how he's been put out there like that. I don't know why he's speaking right now. You know, he's been silent for all these seven years. We want to come out and come out and speak and speak more directly to people about. How I can you know, attack others. We people have been screaming at him, shouting at him, they've been destructing him for all this time. I want to show how an example of him, a great example out of him, and they wouldn't stop public comments, it costs one to interrogate, all of the left wants to isolate them, and wants to bring them out of the picture. They all go out over with them, um, they haven't really run against them. They've been showing them what a great crime humans they are. You know, to show them that they can fight back and say, no, this is not right. We're not really going to go through this. And we're going to show them how they can do, how they can really stop this what really happen. So, and we're doing that. And so, when you're really getting really embarrassed, really getting mad, like a lot of people are making an example of them, they come out and destroy that and to bring that down. And it's all been happening right now. You know, it's a cultural approach, and that's how they think, and that's what they're doing. And they're bringing up on the opposite sides, and showing that this will not be done right. This will not be done by Bill Clinton. There's been all these videos going here to show him things, all the things he was doing, all the crime he's been committing. We're going to see that happening again, about how I think it really has been happening, and what such a liar he is. You know, this is the type of man that, you know, put like a black crime to the ground. It's a man that can't make like, rule. And present of a grand brain of riches and bring in criticism to know where to know what's in. Man that has fun and you don't want things, things. man that has bring on himself or be on working and be around in a hundred scandals at a time. And all these scandals come up and hurt him. 
you know, in the pressure room, think alike. And I think that he's different. He thinks that he's nothing, but no, we're going to score and bring down him. We might not know how his point he is. And it's not stopping from calling you out and showing you how crazy you are. And what you're going to do when I these certain people. Well, I got to tell you how many times how this man acts, what this man is doing. You have to tell us, my people, no. Stop calling your racism like that. Stop calling your racism. It's not racism. It's not going to deal with the white racism. It's not white racism at all. You should love white people. You should care for white people. You should honor them. You should caress them and hug them. So we should always love white people. You should caress them and hug them. You always show them how wonderful you are and what you're doing in this life. You don't talk about racism like that. That's not going to deal with that. We don't even come up with these certain terms. We always come up with these certain words and whatnot. You have to unleash your circles off your feet and stop being a victim to these certain things. Stop being victim to certain sense. Same thing. Go to the, get rid of the black and white crime, get rid of it all. We should not be suffering. We should not be suffering. We should say, break up the state and have everybody moving different around. Have black people move different around and move different around and do certain things. We will go out there and get a job. Stop being a victim with your arm. Stop and raise yourself. Stop and think. Well, why would I play against this white right person when he's doing it? Like, how are we going to do this? We're going to show that we can help our people out. We can talk to go with them. We all have to agree with them and do it. We're all agree with them. We're working things out. We get things, we get things done. And we do it for yourself. You get a job for yourself. You take responsibility for yourself. You take responsibility for your bad behavior. It's not doing that. You know what I'm You put the criminals in jail. I'm saying, I'm saying this. And say this once, black people are thugs. That's right. Black people are thugs are criminals. Destroy their things. Yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah, you go out and do that. And so that's what a preacher is really doing. You know, we're going there, there. You know, we should love white people and how they mess you grow. We should love the message that you know, show anything that you do, you put your mind to it, you go get it done. You'll do that. Now we're about the black lives matter. They always come to the picture and always protesting the same things. They're all over the city, been protesting Ferguson. They've been protesting Donald Trump. Okay, we're right now. We were in recently going around, going around and showing Starbucks. Starbucks didn't have anything to do with race at all. We didn't like have anything to do with black and white. We're still seeing like black and white on there. We already do that. We should love white people by Starbucks. we for bringing that. We should love the coffee, okay? <laughs> We should love black people. We should love black and white people, all right? We should love black and white people, right? We should stop fighting out here, all right? We should show them that we can all take responsibility. Show that black people can take responsibility for the actions that they do and think. And make sure that they do the same things. Make sure that they go to school correctly. Make sure that they stop the crime here correctly. We're going to show them that now we're very really quickly to have a very quickly Democrats who put us in a situation. We push back on them. You know, as we go home, we ask for things, we ask for forgiveness. So we're going to ask black people for forgiveness. And we shouldn't be talking about black and white. You know, how do you think black and white? You know, because we don't see color. I don't see color here at all, all right? That's how we function. We function in different ways and do that. It's not about race at all. We should not be talking about race at all. White supremacy is a uh, made up word. White supremacy is a made up word. We spare a little bit from those things. So that doesn't make sense. Nothing to do with that. We should all love our people. We all say certain things. And we should all love Donald Trump right here. We should all bring him right here. We should all support him right now. We should all support Donald Trump. Moving into the next level. How are you bringing the policies back? He's bringing America back, man. He's bringing it all back, man. The freedom of liberty. Bring it to where it stands and bring it to where it belongs. You know, how many times have I told you that? Well, we've got to get rid of certain things right now. We should stop promoting racism. Racism is an illusion. Okay, it's really an illusion, all right? Morales, just bring back the moralities, man. Bring back Christ. Bring back Jesus Christ and everything. Bring back the Lord for your soul. Soak it all in. Yes. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back to the time where you can really figure these things out. You know, you can figure out how you want to move here. And figure out how you want to move your choice in society. And this is all what you're doing right now. You know, bring up the community. Bring up the black community, Israel. It shouldn't be an all black community. It should be a black and white. Bring it down here to the cities and stuff. We're bringing black and white. We're bringing it down to that. We should all have black and whites work together. We should work together. Work together as individuals. 
Okay, some have a wax photo collectors and no later break out. It should be no black liquidism at all. It should be that. It should be American. It should be all American terms. We'll work on the same, we'll work solid.